hello my loves and welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i created this stunning blue and white paris theme set um with this particular client i have not done a previous youtube video with her so i'm going to put a little card up at the top of the screen for the previous set that i did for you guys um in this set i'm going to be using cjp acrylics of course and i'm going to be using crystal glass coconut milk robin's egg and then also their ultra adhesive monomer and led top plus along with their lemon sherbet cuticle oil i'm also going to be using this stunning neon aurora chrome pigment that i got off of amazon i will try to link it in the description box for you guys and then surprise surprise glitter from the glitter fairy um this is mix it up monday persian prints you guys this glitter is absolutely freaking obsessing um and then these are the paris uh nail wraps that i got from charlie's nail art supply i do have a discount code for you guys so i will leave it in the description box for you um so in the set i'm going to be pretty much the entire set is going to be marble with um the robin's egg and coconut milk and that is what my client wanted so that is what she got um on the marble nails i'm going to be coming in with that beautiful aurora chrome pigment and instead of varnishing it on top of the nail i'm actually going to run it through the marble um and then i will add some of that beautiful persian prints now on the middle finger i am going to do a full nail of the persian prints i'm not going to put a base or anything underneath it because i want it to stay true to the actual color now if you go and add different colors underneath it does change some of the colors the tones inside the glitter itself so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna put a base i'm not gonna put a wash or anything underneath it i'm just gonna do a full nail of that glitter now I'm going to let you guys watch this video in peace. I'm not going to sit here and voice over the entire video. I just wanted to give you a rundown of what we're doing. And then on the ring finger, when I go to do the nail wrap, I will hop back on and explain what I did there.
All right, my love, so now that everything else is finished, we are going to hop over and we are going to do the nail wrap. Um, now, I measured it and cut it off camera, um, but I pretty much treated it the same way I would a water decal. So I let it soak for about 15, 20 seconds, and then I slid it off the back of the paper and placed it on the nail exactly where I wanted it and then patted it into place. Um, the only difference is, is you don't have to worry about putting a small wet bead down or wetting the nail at all. Um, you just slide it off the back of the paper and place it onto the nail and the nail wrap does the rest of the work for you. Don't worry about the stuff hanging off the edges. Um, we will come in with a file and file that away. But yes, I took my tweezers and I roughed up the edge a little bit just to give it that rustic, rugged look that we're looking for. Also, it helped blend it into the nail um, and it ended up turning out phenomenal. I love, love the way this nail turned out. Um, but yes, like I said, I'm going to come in with my file. I'm going to... You do not have to go ham on the sides of these nails or the free edge. You just lightly run that file along the free edge and the sidewalls and just let your file do the work and it will just it will just come off. It's very, very easy to file off. Not only are we getting rid of the excess, but we're also exposing that acrylic underneath to ensure the fact that when we cap it, um, we're not going to have any issues with it lifting, chipping, anything like that so that way when our client leaves everything will still be the same when they come back All right, my loves, so that is the set complete. I absolutely love how they turned out. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of it. Also, if there's anything I can ever do for you guys, leave it down in the comment section as well. Um, I'm gonna leave all the information for all of the products that I use throughout this video in the description box, along with all of my discount codes. Um, definitely go check out Charlie's Nail Art Supplies. They have some amazing nail wraps over there. I definitely recommend them. Also, I have some exciting stuff coming up for you guys. I have a review on some dip powder. Um, also, part three of my Glitter Fairy collection is coming out. Oh, I'm so excited. And then also, I have been waiting to tell you guys this, but now that we're getting closer, um, I'm going to be doing a collab with my beautiful friend, Pip. I will leave her information down in the description box as well definitely go check her out she is absolutely amazing um but yes thank you guys so much for joining me for another video um thank you to all of my subscribers out there i love you guys so so much and to all of my new subscribers hello welcome and thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i would love it if you did hit that notification bell so that way you never miss a video that i upload and i will see you all in my next one Bye, beauties.